Right, okay, so we have just arrived, and from what I can remember, the mushrooms are over that side. So, let's go and check them out. Right, so it's currently May here in the UK, and the best time for mushrooms are around September to November, but there's still some proper, like, amazing bracket mushrooms, sturdy mushrooms that survive in the summer, and that's the ones that we're looking for today, because they're amazing. But to find them, we want to go off that beaten track and into the wilderness, where there's snakes and stuff that can kill you. <laughs> A bumblebee just went down that hole. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. In this cup is something called matcha. And whenever I go like mushroom hunting, I either have a matcha or a cacao, like a ceremonial cacao. It enhances my senses. I know that sounds stupid, but it honestly enhances your vision and you get to see the mushrooms so much more clearly. It will make your adventure amazing. Right, okay, so what you are looking for is basically dead like dead trees like this i can see some already there's some i think i've just come across yeah i have this right here is turkey tail it's literally just chilling on this dead rock on rock that's not a rock mate and they're just chilling on the end of this dead wood here on the end of the stump and there's more like literally all over this now we'll quickly just grab a bit off and i'll show you in depth what it looks like now turkey tail basically grow all year round but in the summer month they tend to dry out a bit quicker and that's what happened to these but there is some that actually still look okay now this is a bracket mushroom so it is a bit hard to get off but as you can see it's so cool look at the pores on that now these are absolutely packed with antioxidants and they also contain immune boosting polysaccharopeptides i don't know if i said that right so correct me in the comments if i said it wrong but ah, i'm getting stung by stinging owls i think this is really cool because the turkey tail are right near some nettles look at this these look so good so what i'm thinking about doing is going home and making a turkey tail tea with some nettles so turkey tail and nettle tea that sounds amazing so when we get back we're gonna make that but i'm just so happy we found these they literally look like a turkey tail and that's why they get the name is because they literally look like a turkey tail they're so cool <laughs> Right, okay, so I've been walking a little bit further and I come across this other tree. Now this one is packed again with turkey tail. Look at all of these. That's an amazing example. Look at that. I've been looking for so long. I think I've been out for like three hours and basically all I found is turkey tail. Every, I, I can see some now. Literally it's everywhere. But if you're watching this video, be sure to subscribe because honestly the autumn one is going to be insane. In this woodland there's just like amethyst mushrooms and just so many different variety that it, I'm super excited for when that happens. So if you're lucky enough to come across this video in the autumn, when I make that video, you'll be the first one to find it. And honestly, you do not want to miss it because it's so like literally the variety is insane and they're so beautiful oh mate i'll insert some pictures of what i found last year because i just found so many i found like this massive polypore and just amethyst and just so many different types and that is what you can expect in the next mushroom video i've just found something right okay i literally nearly gave up until i came across these now these are some deer mushrooms they're a bit old and they tend to be more edible when they're young but that's a good find i mean i thought i wasn't gonna find anything so i'm really happy with this there's just a little cluster of them on this dead tree stump there's also some more turkey tail on here. Oh, and there's another one. Let's get one of these bigger ones off and see what it looks like underneath. Wow, that's quite big. Whoa, look at that. They don't tend to have that much culturally value and people don't really tend to eat them, but I mean, with some garlic and salt and pepper, I bet they'd be amazing if they are doing mushrooms. <laughs> but if you want to correct me down in the comments, please do that. Right, okay, I think I'm going to call it a day, but look at these trees. Look at this on this tree. It's, I didn't even know what that is. It's like some vine, but I saw another tree of like a spiral one. It is basically like grown over. I always find it fascinating when I see that on trees because it always reminds me that I am nature. I am the trees and I got to remind myself to like not get so caught up in like the ego disillusion that I'm not part of nature, which we all get into and it's always that really nice reminder that you are looking at yourself and it's so cool and this is basically like all you it's amazing it's so beautiful <sighs> i would say that was pretty successful we found turkey tail and we found deer mushroom and i've never found deer mushroom before that was a first so i'm so happy with that but i'm currently so hungry so let's go to a supermarket get some food and go home and make this turkey tail and nettle tea which i'm super excited for 
Now I wanted to keep the theme of this video the same and I just went to the supermarket and got some mushroom paste. Now this looks amazing so I'm going to try it for the first time. I don't actually know about that. It doesn't even say what mushrooms are in this. It's a tin and then they put a plastic lid on it but you open it like a tin and what is the point in that? It just says mushroom, 16%. 16% mushroom, what the heck is the rest? Honestly, the nutritional value of what I'm eating right now is probably like zero. Right, okay, so it's totally the same day. Um... <laughs> so how we're gonna make this tea is we're gonna boil the nettle and the turkey tail in boiling water for 15 minutes and then we're gonna come back and try it. So let's go. Right, okay, so it is done. This looks pretty cool. The water itself has gone kind of an orangey color and the nettle's gone a bit transparent. I am actually super excited to see what this tastes like. Right, okay, so here it goes, the moment of truth. What does this nettle and turkey tail tea taste like? Nettle tea has always been one of my favorites, but just that turkey tail just adds that little bit more of like flavor to it. That is crazy. The only way I can really describe it is like an alkaline, relaxing kind of calm tea. And I just love to drink it when I'm like studying or reading or kind of doing my work. But anyway, thank you so much for coming on this adventure. It's been amazing. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me out so much. And there is a video up there that I'm pretty sure you'll like. It's been recommended for you, so why not enjoy it? Catch you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.